Welcome to the tour of Denied. We're gonna start at our external TC, which are, we have two TCs in total, and they are both disconnectable. This is the upkeep of both the TCs. And how to disconnect it, take a roof tile, place it here. This overrides the stability and reconnect it. And just place it into floor frames, like so. Come, go into our gatehouse. We have a nice peaks into our compound and coming through the gatehouse we have some really decent depot boxes and turrets going to this this are this is our compound bedroom we have two baths a locker and patrico peaks into our compound half is double chain link so you can play with the raiders using the chain link and we also have the turrets here, which are double chaining from most of the angles, so it makes it really hard to get rid of them. Going to our second story airlock. We have four depot boxes for quick depot and you can go back. We have also this window, so you can see if anyone's door camping us when we don't have a compound yet. We have a turret guarding the entire second floor, and so it makes it really hard to go top down raid. Right. And also we have a vending machine storage. <coughs> for some valuable kits. Here we have our tier 2 and also our bunker. So to go here, destroy this twig. This opens the bunker and you can safely go through whenever you go offline. Take a wall frame from this angle, place a frame, to place your triangle floor, upgrade it and you can destroy the frame to open. Over here we have our main loot room, tier 3, and our pixel gap TC. We can access it by staying stay on small box and just slightly slide in on these sides. And this is how we open it. So this was the main TC upkeep. And now we can go to our third floor, which is a bedroom slash electricity floor. We have bat two batteries. Powering all the turrets and all the electronic systems that you will ever need. We have turret guard in the entire floor as well. And we have eight more boxes here, which I've, I'm putting most of my valuable loot here for the when I'm going offline. Going up to our shooting floor, we have mixing tables and some deployables in general. We can also place a research table here. So you can double door into our shooting floor. We have two wide gaps. And we can see using these ramps, we can aim far and this fits the crouch peak meta. And using this roof, we can we can hold really nice angles in our compounds and also really, really far, ideal for taking helis. Also acts as a roof retake peak. Over here, we have our peaks also in the compound as well. We can see both of our gates from this angle. And going here, we have a peak onto our roof and taking open the garage door here. This leaves us as a another alternative roof access. Being on our roof, we have our vending machine bunker placing roof tile here, opens up the bunker and we can access the vending machine, pull stuff in, take stuff out and seal it by destroying the roof. We have some more ramp peaks and really nice peaks in general. We have two turrets guarding the entire roof. We can use, we can put minis here, don't worry about them. And also two wind turbines that powers up our entire base with electricity for all the deployables like disco floors, you name it. This was the tour of the night. I hope you'll stick through it and build a base yourself on your next bike. Let's start with a pixel gun. So to start off, place two low square foundations so you can walk on top of them. And drag it in front of you and place the foundation in your desired height. Don't be at the very end so you don't slip. Place the foundation, crush the other side, uncrouch, 
jump crouch again and push the foundation as much in as possible make sure the middle one is possible as well from the left one try the half hole triangle half on top and half hole down here upgrade to metal and you can destroy this, these two, two keys there is a little gap as you can see easy as that now from here place the triangle in the middle demolish this one upgrade this one place one more triangle two squares and walls all around the ceilings and place your TC right in here as close to the wall as possible do the half walls seal it off enter double door you can reach the TC by placing a small box here and by holding W and sliding slightly to the side you'll be able to reach it yeah like this right. here you can do a loot room and this is your starter base when you're ready to expand you have three triangles here you can upgrade these two directly this one leaf twig and we're gonna do a build out for the second bunker so do a square and from the left side do nine triangles out one two three four five six seven eight nine square destroy all the twiggies including the triangle here go back with squares and this triangle as you place the particles from from right to left as you can see here and when upgrade the stone particles will be glowing on the main part from left to right if they are glowing like this triangle is placed correctly do the same thing again place a square and nine triangles from the left side again destroy all the twig and go back with squares make sure this, the square to attach the square here Right now, place walls, the wall frame, and, and the floor frame here, so you're not gonna mess the bunker up. From here, from this position, place two half walls and a triangle floor from this position. Now, place the rest of the build up and attach this triangle to this one. It has to be around 10% stability. Right now, this triangle wouldn't be placeable, but here, if you place a wall frame and triangle here, it would be. And if you destroy this frame, bunker works. Easy as that. From here, you can attach a shelf and double door. And this is your second part of the base done. Third part, we're gonna honeycomb the entire base. So, from here, we're gonna do a square and fully sealed in. Triangle, another triangle. Square here. Triangle. It has to look like this, so we have squares on these two sides, and this will be, be crucial for our wide gaps here. From here, we can do a second floor. This wall sometimes is hard to place. If it's red, just go on the other side and place it from down there. Same for this one. We're gonna have to do a triangle here. Like this two doorways for our airlock and a window for better visibility out do our ceiling here differentiate this make a jump up and didn't forget to seal the double door on top also it's gonna be our four box depot box loot room
and from here you can just place a develop like this temporarily from twig or you can just use a ladder this is the part three of a base complete when you're ready to move to part four raise the honeycomb bed. all the way to a third floor and we honeycomb bin here seal the entire floor off excluding these triangles again like this do a jump up right here this is gonna be our bedroom slash first store loot room area so you can do a shelf here a shelf here as well seal the entire floor and make a jump up here like this this is a third floor and when you're ready to move to the final part we're gonna raise our honeycomb in once again and now we can go down and start building our wide gaps so from the square side, build four squares out, restore the three and come back with triangles. Do it exactly like this, place two squares here and you can leave only these twiggies here. Same goes for the other side. Four squares out, triangles back, and two squares here. Don't forget to upgrade them, and now we'll need to attach them to actual external DC. Here at the square, we're gonna do our gatehouse, two triangles on these sides, windows, and roof. All frames for doors and seal it with the new roof. For the external DC, you're gonna do half moon, a square, and a three triangles, half holes facing the base. Exactly like this. This is our disconnector mechanism. Place a DC, seal it with door. You can demolish these triangles here and connect it like this you can leave this wooden or twig up to your preferences also this will now decay because it's not connected so connect it with wall frames like this and you can raise the frames all the way all, all the way up this and same for the other side raise your frames connect to the gatehouse make the gatehouse using two triangles and windows don't forget to put your doors so it actually works for extra dc do a half moon a square, three triangles, two half walls face and base, seal everything so nobody can take your some DC easily and connect it using these floor frames and you can lay this twig and these are the bad get parts done. On these two sides all we need to do is just take a square and two high triangles here 
place Wolfram here in the middle, so it's connected to base, and do two whole frames here like this. Singles for the other side, square, two high triangles. If you're not gonna, if you're not able to build two high triangles to terrain, just build a triangle and a half wall. It works exactly the same. So now when we are on roof from the Vatica parts, squares like this, windows here and here. Over here we're just gonna do windows. On these two sides, there's gonna be half wall and a window. Place a roof, two half walls here and a floor. Same goes for the other side, so two squares, a square in the middle, windows like this, in the middle place a half wall and a window and a roof. Two half walls here and a floor. On the raised triangle sides, two, two triangles, windows. The triangles on top. Make sure to put low walls in here so nobody can just climb in. Over here, place another two triangle through windows, a wall frame, and a doorway. Place the triangle roofs and seal the triangles. This makes it way easier to place your roofs. Place the windows, and same goes for the other side. Two triangles. Two windows, two triangles more, two windows, roof tiles, triangles, wall frame on the right, doorway on the left, windows here, and now we need to differentiate it a bit, so two windows and two windows, and wall and wall, jump into our roof, Wall frames here, so we have a more protection. And actual roof jumper. Now you can seal this floor, but on this white gap pirates, I did like this and place the low wall here. This is our peak on the top floor. And same goes for the other side as well. Now all that's left to do is finish the roof. You can do roof tiles like this and windows right here. Place ramps for better peekability. Same goes on the other side, including the ramps. And we are done. Basically, right now all that right now all that's left to do is do the vending machine bunker. It's really simple. Place a place a wall and the vending machine as close to the wall as possible. Yeah. Like this, we open need to open it. Triangle. Seal it by just placing a restrained roof. Nice. You'll be able to load it. Nice. Seal it by just placing a restrained roof. Nice. Now you can do windmills from these square parts. Three floors high with a square on top. Well, of course, I forgot something. I completely forgot about compound bedrooms. So, so from our two raised triangles, we're gonna build a square and a triangle in the middle. From there, you're gonna do two squares out and surround with triangles. We can destroy this and do two wall frames so the 
bedroom connects to main DC. From here, we do a wall on both sides, half wall, triangle. We can delete this. As I do want to do the on both sides like this. Place two windows. Walls here. Cap it off. And the door here. You can get rid of these foundations. It will hold itself. So this is one of our bedrooms. Same goes for the other side. So a square, triangle, two squares, surround the second one, two walls on these sides, half wall triangle, half wall triangle, windows, seal with walls, triangle, normal floor, two triangles here, frame, and a garage door. Now connect to main DC, get rid of these, and this is your bedroom here. You can place two beds and locker. And well, this is the base in a completely finished state. I hope the trial helped somebody. I hope this base will be used by all of you and you will enjoy your wife. If you have any questions, any arguments or any ideas how to improve the build let me know down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one take care